Whether you're just starting a co-teaching program or already have one and you're trying to refine it, here are three points to keep in mind. First, co-teaching should have very far-reaching benefits. For example, it should benefit all students, those who struggle, those who are average achievers, and also the students who are high achievers. It should benefit the professionals who implement it as they learn from each other, deepen their trust and respect for one another with their collaborative classroom partnerships. And it should benefit the entire school because when co-teaching is part of a school's services, that school truly can become inclusive. A second point to keep in mind is that co-teaching is a very developmental type of program. It's generally not possible to really fully establish it in one year. That implies it's better to start slowly, start small, grow it gradually, and eventually you'll have tremendous success. And even more importantly, it will be a sustainable program that will be able to match students' needs and accomplish the goals that you have in mind. Finally, school leaders are critical for co-teaching. School leaders are the ones who set the expectation for classroom practice. They problem solve, especially as educators who may not have worked together before navigate how to form that professional partnership. They're the ones who try to find feasible ways for teachers to plan. And they're the ones who have the big picture view and decide whether or not the co-teaching program is accomplishing its goals. Thanks.